Another day, another brand new game. What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing MotoGP 17. It's come out about 12 hours ago, so I thought I'd give this a go. We're not going to do a career mode episode today or anything. It's just going to be just pure gameplay, seeing what it's like um, in this year's iteration. I have been watching a few MotoGP races this year and um, I don't know, I'm slowly starting to get into it. Whenever you watch it, it's just like... There's so many scraps, so many battles, something that F1 is really lacking. But we're going to jump into quick race mode, uh, Grand Prix. Uh, we're going to jump straight into the um, top flight MotoGP series and see what that's all about. So in the track list, we have got so many to choose from. A few uh, F1 circuits here and there that we've raced in in the past and uh, some tracks I've seen on Forza Motorsport, uh, for example, like Miguelo. Um, but I think, and even Bruno, I've raced that on the old Codemasters games, but I, I think for just continuity and for something that I know, I might just race on a track, like an F1 track, or, oh, actually, Phillip Island. I've not raced there in bloody ages, so, uh, let's go to my home circuit, and, uh, yeah, hopefully not make an embarrassing, uh, time of myself. MotoGP series, which, which rider, though? Let's, uh... This is just going to be a complete guess. Hello, Siri. You could try searching the app store. Nah, I'm good. A lot of these bikes actually look really nice, which is making my my choice here very, very tough. <laughs> to be honest, I was just going to go for the best looking bike. But uh, for the sake of it, let's go on the Yamaha uh, in Vinales' uh, bike. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do. Just, just as a heads up, um... I, I've played the MotoGP games very sparingly over the last couple of years, so just be aware I'm not going to be that good. Menus look really nice. Um, by the way, we are doing a 25% race, so like 7 laps. Qualifying is on, hard AI, I'm on the pad, there's absolutely no way I could be on a wheel. Maybe I could try this on a wheel, see if that actually works. But uh, in terms of assist, I've gone for like the pro level of assist, so... Auto brake and everything is off. I think the only thing that the game does for me is auto tuck in. Because um, if I have to do it myself, there'll be times where I just forget and go straight on at a corner. Welcome to Australia. We're joining you live from Phillip Island. The first qualifying session is about to begin and it's going to be a real battle getting through to the second phase. Okay, so in the menus, uh, we can we can go straight to track. We can try out the, the, the bike settings. Um... I think we'll just leave everything stock for the moment. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know how to set up a race bike. To be honest, I've never even thought about that. I, I struggle with setting up a race car on, on the F1 games. No, I'm actually quite good at that now. I I've I've got better as time goes on. But here we go. Ready to start qualifying for the Australian Grand Prix in MotoGP. Do we have to lean forward to gain some speed? I'm not too sure. But uh, the B button is to shift up, and I think X, it is indeed X to shift down, and that is our first crash already. Can we do a wheelie? Yes, we can. Star points. So, oh dear. Oh dear. I told you guys I wasn't good at this. Uh, fucking dreadful. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's why I love traction off, by the way, because the bike just slides around so much, and that that is normally flat in a V8 supercar. Definitely not in a bike. So I'll just need to uh, be wary of that, and that's another one. Let's Guys, if you, if you have any kind of beverage on you, um, preferably non-alcoholic if you're under 18, but for every time I crash, have a drink on me. Fuck's sake. Okay. Nice and smooth. Nice and steady. I don't know how my, my rider is putting up with this much of a beating. But uh, he's really tough. He, he's braving on. He wants he wants to get out of Q1 so badly. That he's willing to injure himself to do it. Through the final corner. This is so... Uh, I can never get used to the, the cornering speeds of a, of a motorbike. But... Here we go for the slowest lap of Phillip Island, uh, about 10 crashes, and we still get up and keep going to set a 2 minute 3.9. And 
And the second lap doesn't start any better. 12 seconds later. Okay, <laughs> I've decided uh, that after two laps of that disastrous gameplay, we're gonna, we're gonna fix things up. I'm gonna make it slightly easier for myself uh, because I've obviously thrown myself too far into the deep end. So hopefully now uh, more assists and also a lower difficulty. We're going straight into the race this time. So um, I can kind of like follow other bikes and see what their braking points and stuff are. I think that would really help me. So here we go. The Australian Grand Prix. Let's do this. Hello, you're joining us live from the Phillip Island circuit for the Australian round of the MotoGP World Championship. The riders have all lined up on the starting grid. We are mere seconds away from the start of what promises to be a sensational Grand Prix. All right, here we go. Ready to start our very first race. As far as I know, traction is still going to be pretty terrible uh, in this bike. But away we go for the Australian Grand Prix. This bike's getting a bit taily, but uh, we managed to hold on to it starting down in 20, well, we're tw down to 22nd now. So uh, we've got it all to do. A lot of cars to overtake, but the uh, difficulty is slightly lower. So hopefully we can find our feet. That guy hasn't found his feet. But got to keep this thing in a straight line. Got to minimize those mistakes. Make sure I don't fall off this bike. And uh, well, that'll be a start. That was nice. Sorry, uh, yeah, that's my fault. Completely deserve that. And now we're going to be decked back towards the back. Great. Squeeze on the power as much as I can. You've really got to turn in early. That's what I'm starting to pick up now. Is I'm noticing all the other riders turning in so early in advance of the corner just so that they can make it. This is an F1. You can't turn in at the 50 meter braking board and expect to make it stick as we go into the hairpin. I should know a lot of these corners. I do know a few of them, but I don't know if they call them the same in in MotoGP as opposed to, to V8 supercars, but I'll carry on. Can you imagine how bad I could be around a track that I don't know, which I was almost going to do. I'm, I'm so glad I did now, but power run through the final corner. We're on the grass. And we're still on the bike, just about. In the slipstream, let's see if we can make up a few KPH on the guys in front. I feel on edge. I'm so on edge because I know how easy to fall off this bike is. Power on. Squeeze it on. And now we've got better momentum versus the guys in front. Up the inside of Abraham. And we're out. Let's just rewind. But here's, uh, here's some gameplay of the camera view. The, uh, like the driver's helmet. That, that's awesome. I don't think I've seen this in a MotoGP game before. Sick. And that's what it looks like when you fall off. Alright, let's try this again. I've had a bit of a taste of the circuit and uh, what it's like on this difficulty level, so uh, whatever happens this time, happens. And we've just got to make sure that we don't fall off. I just want to give you guys a, a decent race uh, where I'm actually battling other riders so you can guys can get a, a sense of what the, the gameplay is like. Because I am trying my best to, um, to take this seriously. It's just my sheer lack of skill on a bike is is really showing at the moment but that's uh some solid gains so far really come on i got hit i said i wouldn't restart but yet here we are once again four red lights and away we go the australian grand prix didn't react that that well that time but now i found the rewind button and uh well if you don't see any crashes from here on in for the rest of this video i think you know why But uh, yeah, from here on in, I think I'm going to talk a little bit less, give you guys a better sense of 
the gameplay like I said and also hear some of the game sounds and the engine that was close what I want to know is how the riders managed to like never make contact you never really see it happen in a MotoGP race but I, f I find like how how do they see like other people coming when they just there's there's some riders that just dive in there in the middle of a corner and yet they just leave space so that's that's one thing I don't really know and as far as I can see like they don't have mirrors either so they just must be able to sense it or be able to hear the uh, the engine coming especially if there's a dive on yeah so surprised yeah like I said there isn't more contact but up the inside you'll you'll be seeing plenty of contact from me today so I'm more than making up for it today. Side by side with Folger, that's that's some more contact, and he's in my slipstream. Is he going to dive me into turn one, though? Probably not. I probably should have been paying attention to where I was going. Ah, oh, that's so... Oh, you're so committed through there to make it through at maximum speed. That is a massive dive, and there was... A bit of a crash behind me, probably caused by me. Let's be real. But, uh, yeah, just not making apexes at all. I'm still getting used to how early and how how much notice you need to give the bike to, uh, to make the corner. That is not a good line. But, uh, yeah, if there's any tips you guys can give me in terms of racing a MotoGP bike, then that would be much appreciated on this game. I know a lot of people like on Twitter and stuff. Wow, come on! I notice a lot of people on Twitter and stuff watch MotoGP and it's insanely popular. I can understand why, because the races are just brilliant um, week in, week out. So I, I really got to get into it more. Now that I've got uh, Foxtel, I can pretty much watch every race, uh, permitting that I'm um, awake for it, because a lot of the races are in Europe, just like F1, but. Up the inside, into turn one, the bike was getting squeamish, let's just lessen the angle and uh, rejoin. Is there going to be a corner cutting penalty? No, there isn't, which is uh, very handy. Considering we lost time as well, it is pretty understandable, but holding down P6 at the moment on lap three of seven. Um, I don't know, we're going, we're going pretty well so far. Let's hopefully get inside the top five, that would be lovely. The problem I find as well, and it probably doesn't help that I'm at Phillip Island with so many long high speed corners, is if uh, you commit to a racing line and then you find out, oh, I've turned in a little bit too early, it, you've got to straighten up, because uh, I'm on a controller, you have to straighten up the steering and as soon as you kind of lift off the joystick, your rider like pops back up into a, a standing position and then you just like understeer so far wide it's a joke, so... Um, it's quite unforgiving in that way. In the slipstream though of Crutchlow. Nice and early into the corner. Still didn't make a difference because I straightened up too much and we're back at square one. Oh, that's a dive and a half. Crutchlow's going to get me back though. I might have better traction, more flying run around the outside and I don't think braking and turning or leaning into the corner is too healthy for keeping or staying on the bike. But uh, I'm playing a risky game at the moment. We're up into P3. Just the leaders in front with only two and a bit laps to go after the... No, it's three laps. What am I talking about? Oh, what is that? What is that? That's filthy. The amount of time I just made up there. Now Marquez goes back up the inside, takes the lead back. That's with the more flying run. Briefly got the lead back. Running wide through the penultimate corner. Definitely isn't going to help. Marquez gets us back. And we're giving him a bit of a push. Which is completely unrealistic. To take the lead back. And we're just fighting to stay on the circuit at the moment. Marquez gets us back once again. Now the heat's been turned up. Oh. Sorry, I can't get turn one right. Look at that, they just 
they take it so cautiously over Lukey Heights. Now into the hairpin, we give Rossi a bit of a touch, which is uh, definitely not what I was intending to do. Let's see if we can just follow him through. Follow our teammate through, get a slingshot, and uh, hopefully make turn one this time. That would make life so much easier for me, because I seem to be struggling with that concept of keeping this thing on the track. In the slipstream of Rossi, we're, basically, we're stuck to him. What was that? It was slowing us both up, surprisingly. And we've made turn one. I think I deserve a medal for that. Down to first gear, launch it off the hairpin. One thing, oh geez, we almost lost the back end there. Uh, oh, and again, in under braking, I'm putting a lot of stress into the bike, into the tyres. One thing I don't like at the moment is the look back feature. When you pull the joystick back, I'll do it after the hay shed corner. It's like it flicked, it like turns and spins all the way back. If if it could just like do a sharp cut straight behind me, like most games do, then. That would save a lot of time and, I don't know, be a lot more fruitful. That's that's a barge from Marquez. Cheers for that. And I think he's fallen off the bike. No, he hasn't. He's right there. <laughs> you ninja. No, oh, this feels so slow. I just know I'm not getting the most out of this at the moment. Slipstream, let's not make contact and slow ourselves down again that we've been squeezed and now I should probably slow down for the corner still didn't make it and I braked earlier than Marquez but now we are on the final lap and because of that we don't need to deal with that dreaded final corner anymore that's gone in way way too deep and Marquez gives us a bit of a touch up as I turn across his line but uh, yeah let's stay on board here for the rest of this lap and hopefully keep this lead that we have at the moment. Just gotta to, got to navigate the hay shed corner. He's up the inside! What are you doing, man? <laughs> What's going on? This is like an actual MotoGP race where the lead just swap, uh, swaps so, so much. But over Lukey Heights, the AI quite weak here. We're gonna take full advantage of that. Tuck in nicely for the hairpin. Keep it smooth, keep it smooth. Don't run wide, don't miss apexes. That wasn't. The most flying run through there in all honesty. I don't want to look behind. Because that's only going to distract me. But out of the final corner. It looks like we're going to take this one. Oh dear. I don't like making things easy for myself. But there we go. We've won the Australian Grand Prix. 100% not deserved though. Because I crashed a million times. And used the rewind feature just as much but that's been this video for today guys hopefully you have enjoyed um yeah i mean sorry about my terrible terrible writing i i did disclaim that at the start of the video i'm not going to be any good at um moto gp games because i i don't play them and i like i'm a wheel user i play on the i don't use the pad that much but like that's an excuse but uh yeah i should really put the time in and and uh play these games more often because they are quite fun and quite uh, realistic when you turn off all the assists, but yeah, if there's any other videos you want to see from this game Then be sure to let me know Not too sure about a career mode because I don't think I'd actually finish it in all honesty But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more racing game content and uh, Until the next one guys. I'll see you next time